Hi, thank you for joining Pioneer. My name is Aaron Pence. I'm from the Norman Central Library. I appreciate you spending a few minutes with me today. Let's continue our programming adventure in Scratch. Scratch is a super versatile tool. You can use it to make video games or stories or art or math tools or tic-tac-toe or almost anything. This week, we're gonna make a story. And actually, that's not true. You're gonna make a story. I'm gonna give you a few tips that I've used in making my own stories. You'll learn how to make characters talk, how to paint your own backgrounds, and how to move sprites in your story to get cool effects. You'll be a Hollywood producer in no time. To get started, if you've never used Scratch before, I'd recommend taking a look at the Making a Word Move set of videos. They'll help you get your feet wet. Otherwise, let's get started. Please get to Scratch, whether that's by going to the website scratch.mit.edu or another method. I wanna show you how to make a conversation. You don't have to make a conversation in your story, but I wanna have one in mine. And like any good conversation, it needs at least two people. So I'll add a second sprite by clicking the choose a sprite button in the bottom right. My cat is going to talk to a basketball, just like normal. Now that I've got my basketball, I wanna make it talk to the cat, just like my basketball talks to me. In the looks category on the left, the purple button, the first button is perfect. Say hello for two seconds. I'll bring that over. Remember that every script needs to start with an event. So I'll go to the yellow events category and grab a when green flag clicked hat block. I'll snap that into the say hello event. And when I click the green flag, my basketball says hello. Delightful. Now, I want my cat to say howdy back. And you probably already figured it out. I need to select my cat sprite here in the bottom right corner. And then I need a when green flag clicked event block and a say hello for two seconds block. Now watch what happens when I click the green flag. It didn't work. They both said hello at the same time. But it makes sense if you think about it. We told both sprites to say hello for two seconds when the green flag was clicked. We didn't tell either sprite to wait, but we can. I want the basketball to speak first and the cat to speak second. So I need the cat to wait while the basketball says hello. Go to the orange control blocks on the left part of the screen and find the wait one seconds block. Grab it and snap it in between the when green flag clicked and say hello for two seconds blocks. We also need to change the one to be a two since the basketball is saying hello for two seconds. Now click the green flag. Great, did you see the pause? But remember that I wanted my cat to say howdy and she says hello. Well, you can change the words they say. Just click on the hello part of the say hello block and type in the word howdy or rutabagas or flying potatoes or give me back my pickles or whatever you want. Click the green flag and take a look. Now, it's not much of a conversation if they both say hello and then that's it. If I want my basketball to say something afterwards like yeet, then I need to add that block in. But there's a trick. Take a look. I select my basketball since that's who's talking. I add a say hello for two seconds block to the end of the script. I change the word to yeet, green flag. The basketball interrupts the cat. I hate it when that happens. To fix it, the basketball is gonna need to wait on the cat to finish talking, just like in a real conversation. So. Go grab a wait block from the control category, snap it in before the say yeet block, change the time to two seconds. Now click your green flag. Perfect, you did it. That's the basics of making a conversation in Scratch. I wonder how many different lines of conversation you can make your characters have. Give it your best shot, share your projects, and don't forget to link them in the comments down below. And most importantly, have fun. Next time, we'll learn how to change the backdrop of your program so that your story looks cool.
Thanks a lot. See you soon.